forward and back. Good morning, it's forward and back. Welcome to winter. It's a little bit cold. I've rugged up a little bit in my leather jacket because it's freezing. It's freezing for here. I don't even know, it's, I think it was 16 degrees. It's cold. So I thought I'd get out early, welcome to winter. I thought it's a good time to maybe run this wheel through another little range test, or at least start to. I don't know if I'll get it all done today. All right, so here we go. We're gonna start to put a few more kilometers into the wheel. We're, we're sitting at 96%, and so far I've only really traveled 3.5 kilometers. There's so much going on right now. You've got a couple of new wheels coming out from Bagod. King Song's got the S19 and the basketball. I don't know what that's called. The Michael Jordan. So far we are 12 kilometers under our belt and we've got 86% battery left. So at 1500 kilometers and the start of winter, getting a little bit colder over here, I thought it's a really good time to possibly get out and do another range test on my wheel. If you go back through my videos, you can see I've already done a range test on the V13. I had a bunch of fun. I think my average speed was 45 kilometers per hour and I had a few speed runs to bring that speed up. And it was a little bit warmer weather. The tire had, you know, a little bit more tread. So, you know, all of those things, the weather can play a big part, especially. So when it gets colder, I don't expect to get the range that I was then. I quickly logged into the InMotion app and I can show you my settings to show you where I'm sitting. It's charged to 100%. Everything else is running beautifully. No errors, no faults. They're my wheel settings that you can see up there. 69% acceleration assist. I've got 69% pedal hardness. I'm running at 90% on the brake assist. In the tire at the moment, I've got 35 PSI. I've got 200 PSI in my air chambers. And yeah, everything's really, I guess, ready for this range test. Might need to do it in two stages. So I will roll and then record things and show you all my stats. I'll try not to make the video too long. I know the range test videos can really drag out. And we'll just try to get it done. My weight is, you know, 90 kilograms with this gear on. So I think that's everything to cover. Temperatures, yeah, it's just under 20 degrees Celsius. Um, and yeah, we're heading into Brisbane City. The sun's starting to come up, so I'm going to put some music on my headset, probably take a seat and um, roll for a little while. We'll get some kilometres into this. Beautiful. Thanks for coming along on another wheel adventure. We'll chat soon. So yeah, we're just moseying about. I guess I put a little bit of speed into it back there, but nothing crazy. Because, um, yeah, where I am now, it's a little bit slow. Just got to watch the traffic. And there seems to be a lot of cyclists about. So I guess it's a real, real environment type test. That's part of the thing with the range too, isn't it? You've always got different conditions and you're rolling in different places, different ways. Okay, so a little check-in. We've, um, we've done 16.7 kilometers and we've got 85% battery left. I'm just coming towards Brisbane City, but I'm coming from a different direction. This is called the City Loop. It's a beautiful way to get out and see the morning, especially when it looks like this. What a great, great morning. That's why there's so many cyclists. You see heaps of people out. So I'm being a little bit cautious and just trying to be safety conscious while we roll. Just following the bike paths and doing the same things that you would. And, you know, sometimes you get lost as well. So you want those extra kilometres People have reported that the range on this isn't that good and I, you know, there's definitely other choices if you want a bit more range on board. But if you want something that has you know, the ability with such a big tire to, to get off, off road and, and run downstairs and go over everything, this isn't the long range wheel. This is kind of your cruiser, open road, 
I mean, I use it as a commuter, no problem, and it does everything I want, but I, I use it as everything. You know, my trail wheel, my fun wheel, speed wheel, and that's what you're getting with it. It's a, it's a really good solid wheel that's going to get you there fast if you need to. And, and you don't get that battery sag as well. Well, we'll test that. We're on a new firmware as well now. So since the last range test I've updated, I'm on the latest firmware. So all of these things do play into what you're, what you're getting out of your wheel. I think from memory last time I was, you know, up 70, 80 kilometer range, but I still had battery percentage. If I get a chance today, I'll just try to push it all the way and, and roll near home until we get that really, you know, squeeze the last couple of kilometers out of it. According to the wheel I've got 83% battery left and it's got an estimation of 160 kilometers. You know you can't really take that seriously. You know it can give you I guess a bit of an indication but it's not going to be accurate and you can't really gauge your, your trip off that. So we're at 79% so yeah I'll keep checking in. Yes, I'm just having a really nice morning anyway. I'm glad I got out of bed and glad I can show you this. The weather's looking really nice. The river's looking good. Heaps of people out and just enjoying it. So, yeah, good to be one of them. I guess I didn't charge the headset enough and I'll have to do some commentary later. I'll keep shooting along the river. Uh, already been out for a little bit lots of people I'll keep rolling slow and we'll just have some fun today and I ended it all up together I might have to do it in two different rolls and get some footage this afternoon and on sunset I might go out again and make it a sort of sun sun up sun down range test in Brisbane Australia yeah uh, you know at the start of winter Good afternoon, we're back in the saddle, finishing off this range test in the cold weather. This morning I started out and headed out the door at about 7 in the morning. I just wanted to start doing the range test and I didn't really get the chance to complete it all in one roll so I'm just back finishing that off. I parked the wheel at home, um, I left it with 61% battery, darkness spot said I'd made 40 kilometres. My wheel is saying 39.7. So we've got, you know, a little bit, we've got 61% battery to push through. And yeah, look, I estimate about the same 37 kilometers. We were going at an average speed, I think of about 35 kilometers an hour. And the weather's been, you know, 15 to sort of 19 degrees today, Celsius. So the, you know, winter's hit us here. The last range test that I did was a little bit warmer and we'll be coming up to 1500 kilometers on this wheel in this roll. But the light's starting to leave us and I've got to put the lean on and you know get us where we need to go, get this battery killed. So this time I'm going to turn the cameras off a little bit and I guess not talk as much so lucky you. And I'll just try to get some battery killed and then tune in along the way and let you know where we're at. So I might just do the same roll again. And that way I can compare the battery sag, I guess, um, to how I rolled this morning. And then I'll just try to edit it all up into a nice video. So you don't have to sit there for too long. So, yeah, thanks for coming back again and sticking with it. I'll get rolling and we'll talk again soon.
sometimes when you pull up at lights and you know just different places where you go to rest your wheel the ground is uneven when you try to mount it and it can kind of play havoc on your technique so you, can't, you watch that you know and look for a place to hold on to and you know sometimes if you go to mount the wheel and you're on a slight incline like that the wheel kind of tries to fight you and tilts weird and things go wrong so just be aware that can happen make you look kind of interesting Do you still get range anxiety, you know, when you head out with your electric device, your scooter, your skateboard, you know, your wheel? I'm not sure what other ranges are like now, but I know it's sort of getting to the point where you can relax a little bit. But I guess, you know, I, for some reason this time I felt a little bit nervous heading out. I know it's getting colder, it's dark, you know, maybe I'm just being a bit of a wimp, not that cold. You guys, I think you're used to like a lot worse out there. I was wondering, you know, I might mention to Bob at Emotion they could possibly run a heat sink into the front orange bar there and you could have a heated grip. Like that's a feature that my luxurious bike grips have. And I tell you, it actually really helps. You know, on those cold winter nights, you grab a hold of something warm, hold it close. But yeah, I, I do get it, uh, anxiety, I guess, and that's what this range test is about. It's about that for you and for me to help me know how this is gonna perform ongoing under this new firmware in the winter. The colder conditions, you know, as I mentioned, play a part on your range. And yeah, things like weight, weather, wind, it's a little bit windier now and the temperatures dropped a little bit. So I'm not sure how we'll go. I mean, I, I estimate I can make this trip again, no problem, but I do have this uphill to come back to on the way home. And yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that this will handle that, no problem. Don't know what speeds or what I'll push, but I trust the in motion safety. I trust the warnings, you know, it'll let me know, give me some tilt back. Well, you know, and we'll see, we'll see how that goes, so. We've got a couple of companies here that are starting to treat your electric vehicles, you know, with some roadside assistance options. So it's always good to have that in your back pocket. I think they'll pick you up and take you home and you get certain amount of that um, for your yearly fee. So yeah, there's ways to remove that anxiety and make this a real part of your life carry a charger with you in your backpack and there's a few apps now that will show you where there's power outlets to charge so yeah, options you know if you're in a city like this you've got some good options I'll tune out and uh, keep keep going it says we've got 55% battery um, yeah and it's estimating 104 kilometers which is doubtful and I guess uh, we've traveled I'll just flick it across it's still great having that screen there Maximum speed 52, average 34. We've traveled six kilometers, so we're up at 46 kilometers all up so far, and we're at 55% battery. So uh, off we go, I'll turn the cameras off and keep going. Brr. Shred lights up the front. I've got the SL1000, which is a really nice rechargeable light. You've got a few brightness settings. It's it's really bright on its brightness. And I've got the SLR1s just on the back. I've got two of them. I know it's the light starting to go. And yeah, I find sometimes that this headlight on the InMotion V13 can be a little bit bright. And unless you've got your things tilted correctly, it can sort of flick the light up into people's eyes. So yeah, I've just got the 
SL1000. I've just got the shred lights on today and that's also just gonna take the load off the battery as well, I guess. So I'm under under 50%, I'm on, I'm on 47% battery. And you know, under 50%, I'm not noticing any loss of power. Everything I want is still right there when I lean in. And no tilt back, no warnings. No problems, it just feels the same, you know, the same sort of power, same fun. Yeah, good wheel. You know, I, I know some wheels you're gonna find when you get below 50%, you really should back off and really not push it. But I still feel safe enough on this to keep giving it a push and um, yeah, no, no tilt back yet. So I trust the emotion warnings. I've learned to trust them over a couple of wheels and you know, chatting to the guys behind the wheels even more just helps me feel reassured that they're doing the right thing. So just checking in while we're on the river, we've got 40% battery and we've rolled 23 kilometers, so that's 63 kilometers. Max speed 60 kilometers, average speed's about 35 kilometers per hour, so yeah, we're getting there. I'm gonna sort of start to head back home and then I might just kill the battery around home, maybe even at a car park later tonight. So yeah, we're getting there. And the performance is still really, really good. I've got some long stretches on the way home and some decent hills to get up. So I'll keep the cameras running then. I'll save some battery and hopefully we can catch any warnings that start to come into play. So 38% battery. We've got 13 kilometers or so to get back home. But yeah, I mean, that's a full day. I guess you stop for lunch. I quickly went home and charged the batteries in the headset and then I jumped on the V11 and zoomed up to get some milk. So I've been wheeling all day. It'll be good to get home. But I, I'm not feeling it too much in the legs. I actually feel good. Still feel wide awake. Maybe I don't sound it, but I am. So, all right, I'll turn things off and we'll keep rolling. The light's starting to dim. So you can see that headlight kick in now. I've turned the V13 headlight on just to keep people aware of me. There's a lot of people around. Look, I'm gonna say bye now in case I don't finish it up. And if I do run out of battery, bye. Thanks for watching another range video. I know they're usually a little bit longer. And I did try to edit this one down um, just to keep it to the nice cinematic stuff, I guess. But yeah, this is a, I'm fine with the range on this wheel, especially with the fun I have, the speeds I go, and you know, being able to trust it safely with the confidence and I don't mind the range, but that's for me, you know, that's my needs here and my commutes and things like that. I just don't need the extra range. I've got two charges so I can really get it back up to charge in a couple of hours and that's good for me i know down the track they're looking at extending the range and having some battery options on the challenger series so it's only going to get better than this but this is already pretty epic um, enjoyed the day saw the sunrise saw the sunset and all up we got this many kilometers i just put it up there in text just the magic of television um, yeah i'll try to finish it up as quick as i can let you know how it is in the cold weather. And yeah, so nothing else to report. It's uh, pretty boring. I know, thanks for watching. But I'm still enjoying myself and the wheel's still rolling really, really beautifully. Flicking it around, it's not too cold. The weather's nice and it's great, still on a buzz from the wheel. I know you're sick of hearing it, but get yourself a wheel, you'll know how I feel. So I'm at 22% battery and I'm pushing this up to 60 kilometers per hour, no problem. And then braking hard. I've just found a little car park to play with it. I'm just trying to wind down those last few kilometers. And I guess I'm not afraid to still do this. I've had no warnings at all, no tilt back. Just gotta give myself room to pull up. So I'm getting over 60 kilometers per hour there. And just on 20%, 21% now. Still got a few kilometers to get back home. So just finishing this up. Okay, so I've done 85 kilometers so far and it says I've done 35 kilometer average speed. I think that's dropping a bit as I'm just toning it back. 
I've had no warnings, no tilt back. I'm sitting at 16% battery and it gives me a remainder of 22 kilometer average. I'm gonna head a little bit closer to home for this last 10%. And yeah, we'll you know show the warnings, what happens when you get to that lower speed. The winds come up, shut my visor. I just noticed an error which just says your vehicle is in abnormal condition. It's just a low battery. You know, I got close to the 15% and then I looked down and noticed there was just a caution there. So I'm at 14% now and there was my first tilt back. Just a mild little tilt back and I guess I was going at probably 25 kilometers the legal limit here. And until then, I'm sure I just heard a beep from the wheel I've also got a caution fault warning which popped up saying low battery but you, hit, you can hear that beep and that's as I'm hitting 20 kilometers so I've still got 14% now and there seems to be quite a, a good tilt back and a nice audible beep from the wheel I'll just check in on the kilometers I've done today 46 kilometers this roll and 40 kilometers earlier so we've got 86 kilometers So, you know, I'm getting warnings all the time now. I'm at 90 kilometers for the battery charge and I can still get up to 30 kilometers on a slight incline. And that seems to be where I'm starting to get two beeps and a slight tilt back. So as each percentage has dropped, I think the tilt back's gotten a little bit stronger too. I gotta be happy with that. I didn't expect to be able to get 90 kilometers, to be honest. I thought I'd be sitting at about 80 kilometers. This is okay.